Oh my god. Because since you were like really? just lay on lay in your room and like don't <laughs> provide. Wow, this is awesome. But we've been waiting for the whole chip. This has to Well be what I waited for you to like bullet two hundred plus for it. Well didn't. I'm sorry I didn't get there. I mean We'll see. Let's see how good they are compared to Uh they have to be better than Mr. Donut. Probably, yeah. Tasted like rubber. Yep, this is pretty good. Good move, good move. Lock two, wish me luck. How did you do yesterday? Uh, yesterday was pretty good. I shot 701. I don't look at the scores, so I have no idea where that puts me, but I know it's towards the top. So, long way to go, and um, hopefully, that's a stretch today. Cool. I love cranium. I think I think these are okay. So this is like a collectible. Oh yeah, there they are. There's a lot of collectible stuff. Smells like food. It's like apple. Where did you get that? Yeah, see, they have like powder on them. They're good. Kind of had it. They're actually not that bad. What do you mean it's not that bad? It looks like it looks like what the kid ate off the fucking American wedding when he found the ring. A little different. Get past the texture. It's not that bad. The flavor is good, but the texture is weird. Yeah, because you're not used to that texture with chocolate. Or with anything. Oh, what do they ask for? Who asked for what? Chocolate covered almonds, but for, for, he said not the dark ones. So that's for Tommy. This would be it, right? They have Subway chips. That's weird. Do they, wait, do they, act, they actually taste, taste like, like sandwich? <laughs> wow. I'm so buying these. Wow. Oh, when I went to McDonald's and they had the breakfast menu, they have breakfast hot dogs. They're really? obsessed with hot dogs here. I don't know if you noticed they have them everywhere. Yeah, they do have a lot of hot dogs. Look at the frosted plates. Look at the churro. I think it's a churro. Yeah, I think it is too. <laughs> <laughs> She's roasted chicken. Mm. There is a more than this. It's this fried chicken. Yeah, I thought it was like a... It kind of does taste like cheese roasted chicken sandwich. Really? Yeah. With tomato, onion. Those are bad. Not bad. One of those buns that had mystery meat inside. Oh, did you? I didn't want to count those, but I haven't got them there. It's going to be like spicy. <laughs> this isn't church. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Japan. No, I had something the other day that was. Oh, I don't know what's inside. What kind of meat do you think it's like? Probably pork. I'm pretty sure it's pork. And of course, uh, Pepsi. Next. $1.99. So yeah. Pull up. One or two boards. Well done. Qualifying. Um, I had. Two in the two. 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 Two in the two.
and then this morning 7.20 and then they did a and I went at 6.04 so they didn't have to find can you hear me? Um, I think it's a pretty good start. Still a lot of work to do. Six more games left. And then they cut to the top three. And then um, four to nine will one game to make the TV show. Um, so there's four on the show, I think. I think. Um, so a lot of strikes ahead of me. And hopefully I can keep it together and get there. You need to go to TV. Oh, that's big. Oh, wait. It's going to be a while because we're going down. Up. Is it going up? Oh, mm -hmm. I'm so lost. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where we go. I just remember that these are called koala yummies. I used to eat them when I was young. They're awesome. They're like these little cookies that have chocolate inside them. <laughs> and how are your chips? They're actually pretty good. These are Subway BLT chips. We had some chicken ones earlier and they were they, better. But they are better. Japan is just filled with cool stuff. Can you just did he make it with 109? Three more games or six more games? Six, six more games. Okay. Three yesterday and 84 today. Right? And then four through nine, but one game. You gotta love it. Yeah, all in one day. Nothing in one day, all in the next. How long were you over here before when you were? Five years. Wow. But the longest I've been here has been a little less than two months. Okay. Did you enjoy it when you were over here? Some of it I did. Some, Some of, of it, it I didn't. So what was that rule where they don't, you can't bowl certain tournaments now? I can't, no foreigners allowed. Oh. So it's not just you? No, it's not a myself. Wendy rule? Well, I'm the only female foreigner. And then the Koreans. So oh, I see. 20 something, 20, 20, 25, 27 Koreans. I'm going to announce for the men's score for top 24. Number two, Tommy Jones, USA, 2059. Number four, Chris Vance, USA, 2024. Number six, Sean Resch, USA, 2000. Number eight, Bill O'Neill, USA, 1994. Number nine, Michael Fagan, USA, one nine nine one. Number ten, Dan McLean, Canada, one nine seven nine. Number twelve, Mika Kui Sumimi, Finland, one nine six zero. Number nineteen, Patrick Allen, USA, one nine two seven. Number twenty third, Scott Norton. USA, 1 9 Yeah, the last three games were kind of rough. Um, in order to score, you had to kind of hook the ball a little bit more than I'm good at. I, I throw the ball pretty straight, so um, the ball either hooked at 10 feet or it hooked at 60 feet when it went around the thing at the ball return. So it was hard to carry. And the last game, I, I struck every time on the right lane, or the left lane, and never struck on the right lane, including the 10th when I uh, knew I needed one to be the first one in the tent to be safe, and I threw it really well and still left a seven pin. So then I got to sit around for a half an hour and find out if what I had was good enough. And it happened to be good enough by two, so it was a pretty nerve wracking um, while, but just kept plugging away and kept grinding, and it happened to work out this time. It did not last week. <laughs> Visita by two thousand fifty one. Second question, Deandra Aspect from USA. Uh, point uh, twenty twenty five. Six Wendy Marcos from USA. Nineteen ninety eight. Seven uh, Carl Gianotti from Australia. 1998. 15. Kelly Curie from USA. 1944. 24. 12. 20. Uh, Shannon Kurhamski from USA. 1889.
I'm trying to show the first place seat and you're like, oh, I'm okay, getting in I'm there. Sorry. No, you're not. This is way more important. I'm not putting this in the vlog. That's fine. I don't want your fans to think less of you. Oh my gosh. My fans love me, obviously. Mike won me a beer last night, so I have to take this. It's fine. Oh. Go, Chris. You know where you're okay. So the bet is. Okay, explain what's going okay, on, though. What's happening is the fourth through the ninth seed are rolling one game. The highest game advances to the TV show as the fourth seed. I have picked Fagan again. Fagan. The one, the show, the, what was his nickname? One Shoe Wonder. Uh, the One Shoe Wonder. Okay. Sandra has d also known as Dan McClellan. And you have his cards. He doesn't have a nickname. Mm -hmm. we had, it was like we were betting on horses. You were the One Shoe Wonder. Uh, West Bush looks at Cowboy. <laughs> so his is not very good, D Mac. That's not a horse name. Right. No. <laughs> it has to do with Canada in some way. North of the border. Oh, yeah. I like that. America's hat. Go shower because we are coming. Making a video of the gluttonous event. I just like the video we took when you zoom in. It's just like you see everything just sizzling. Getting really full. Korean barbecue again with the number one seed of the DHC. Yeah. You're paying tonight, right? Since you're about to win seventy-five thousand. It's pretty much. It's pretty much guaranteed, yeah. I think. Twenty percent. Who won? Nice guy. Z. Guy enough. Won the girl. So none of our guys won. But I won Missy. No, technically I won because they didn't have the highest team out of the guys. Yeah, that? We didn't have that last night. That's the one we did. Some points here. Yeah, do you want this the rest of this plate? Bill's coming. No, don't go away or me. 